Welcome back to the channel Anthology Fans. My name is Coach and on this episode of Card Anthology, we'll be taking a look at the second set of the Invasion Block. This set was the first small expansion of the block and also continues the storyline of the Phyrexian Invasion of Dominaria. So without further delay, this is the Card Anthology episode over the expansion set Plane Shift. Plane Shift was released on February 5th of 2001. This set came after the large 350 card set Invasion released four months earlier. The design team was led by Mike Elliott along with Bill Rose, Mark Rosewater, and Henry Stern being the members of the team. The development team was led by William Jockish along with Randy Bueller, Henry Stern, Brian Tinsman, and T. Wynn Woodruff being the other members of the team. There are also contributions from Brady Dommermuth and Beth Morson along with art directors being Dana Knudsen and Ron Spears. The total size of the set was 143 cards with 55 commons, 44 uncommons, and 44 rares. The symbol of the expansion set was a swirling portal, representing the portal the Phyrexians used to invade Dominaria. The set also accompanied four pre-constructed decks, which were the red and green barrage deck, the white, blue, and black comeback deck, the white, red, and green scout deck, and the five-color deck simply known as Domain. The novel Plane Shift was released around the same time as the expansion set. One mechanic that Plane Shift introduced was the gating mechanic, which is a mechanic that when a creature comes into play, the player is required to return a creature back to the hand. This mechanic would expand upon the kicker and domain mechanics from the invasion set. The storyline of the Plane Shift expansion was that the Phyrexian invasion was in full gear. While the Dominarian army did have some victories in the beginning of the war, the tide of the war starts going to the Phyrexians. As the fighting continues, portals from the Plane of Wrath start to bring in more waves of the Phyrexian invaders leaving the Dominarian army seeming to lose almost all hope of a victory in this massive bloody war. There were 11 total cycles that were part of this expansion. The first cycle were the Familiars, which were common two converted mana creatures that reduce the casting cost of allied color spells you can play by one generic mana. The Familiars were Sunscape Familiar, Stormscape Familiar, Nightscape Familiar, Thunderscape Familiar, and Thornscape Familiar. The next cycle was the rare allied spells, which were rare non-creature spells having a mana cost composed of two allied colors. The rare allied spells were Cloud Cover, Urza's Guilt, Draw News Crusade, Natural Immersions, and Eladomri's Call. The cycle known as the Tricolor Rares was a cycle that required three colors to cast. The cards part of this cycle were Urtai the Corrupted, Phyrexian Tyranny, Destructive Flow, Radiant Kavu, and Questing Feldegrift, which was also the pre-release card of the set. You had the uncommon wizard creatures called the Battle Mages that had a casting cost of 3 converted mana and 2 types of kicker. The Battle Mages were Sunscape Battle Mage, Stormscape Battle Mage, Nightscape Battle Mage, Thunderscape Battle Mage, and Thornscape Battle Mage. Other cycles part of the Plane Shift's expansion were the common allied spells, both common and uncommon gating creatures, Dragon Charms, Dragon Lairs, and Land Sacrifice Kicker Spells. The last cycle was the Planeswalker Enchantments, which were rare enchantments with 3 converted mana that forces an opponent to reveal a random card from their hand and creates an effect based on that card's converted mana cost. These cards also depict the Planeswalkers that Urza recruited for the war. The cards were Planeswalker's Mirth, Planeswalker's Mischief, Planeswalker's Scorn, Planeswalker's Fury, and Planeswalker's Favor. There were seven notable cards of this expansion. The first notable card was Lord of the Undead, which was a zombie creature with a casting cost of two black mana and one generic mana. It had two power and two toughness, gave other zombie creatures plus one, plus one, and had the ability to put zombie cards from the graveyard to your hand. This made zombie tribal decks a real legitimate threat in competitive play. Diabolic Intent was a black sorcery spell that could tutor for a card and only cost two converted mana and by sacrificing a creature. This made it easy for players to get cards that they needed in a game. Shivan Worm was a red and green creature that had the gaining mechanic. It also had 7 power and 7 toughness, trample, and in some cases could be on the battlefield by turn 3 or turn 4. Draco was a 9-9 flying creature with a converted mana cost of a record 16. The card's cost would go down by 2 mana for each different basic land on your side of the battlefield. It was, however, mostly used with the cards Erratic Explosion and Kaboom to deal 16 damage to an opponent. Worm's Chant was a white instant spell with a white kicker cost. It prevented a target player from casting spells this turn, and if the kicker was paid for, creatures can't attack this turn as well. 
this card would see more play with the release of the set Mirrodin. Flame Tongue Kavu is a 4-2 red creature that deals 4 damage to any creature when it comes into play for the casting cost of 4 converted mana. This was mostly used with the gating creatures such as Horn Kavu and Shivan Worm. The last notable card was called Meddling Mage. It was a 2-2 Azorius creature that when it comes into play, a non-land card is named and that card cannot be played. This creature was considered to be the most powerful wizard before the arrival of Snapcaster Mage from the Innistrad set. A sealed booster box of Plane Shift is worth around $350. So that is all you need to know about the Plane Shift expansion set. I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment, and share this video with your other friends. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button and be on the lookout for Niza Hone's top 10 Plane Shift cards. Make sure you check out Niza's channel by clicking on the link in the description below. Be sure to check out our sponsors 5 Color Combo and check out their Kickstarter project. Their Kickstarter is over their custom tokens and their custom playing cards, so be sure to check out the link in the description as well. Make sure to download their app and check out the store. If you go to their store, use the code THECARDBAZAAR to get a 5% discount on your total purchase. Our next episode will be over the last set of the block known as Apocalypse, so be on the lookout for that video soon. That is all I have today everyone, Coach over here signing out and I will see you all next time.